Hi guys, so today I will be showing you how I clean my silver jewelry with the Twinkle Silver Polish Kit. And this is a new one that I just opened and I will show you what it looks like inside right away. There is a sponge that comes with the kit. I usually don't use it, but I will demonstrate what they claim you're supposed or how you're supposed to use it. And so and that's why I'm just disregarding that and putting that back in the box, which I will be throwing up. I just took um I just grabbed that wet yellow rag um so that will be the base for when i'm gonna i'm going to be cleaning my jewelry because here's the thing the um directions say you need to get a moistened um rag or cloth and then you all get the um the the creamy solution from the polish kit and rub it on the silver material or sil silver items so that is what I did. I just moistened that rag. It's not dripping wet. It's just, it's just, you know, it's just damp, like moist, wet, but not dripping wet. So that's, that's usually how I do that. And the reason I use an electric toothbrush is because, especially for this kind of jewelry, the design of it, you, there's uh, so many different, um, in between, because it's a bead design there's an in-between area that I, I'm just more particular in making sure that in-between is clean and now um, I am going through the other jewelry and I just I like a thorough clean when I do clean my silver jewelry and every other jewelry it's just it's just a lot more time consuming when it comes to my silver jewelry just because um, it's not like just a dipping solution. You actually have to do a lot of rubbing and a lot of um, scrubbing, I think. I just use an electric toothbrush. That's easier for me to do, and that is why I do that. I you always use um, gloves for cleaning, my rubber gloves. I just, I just prefer to do that. Um, I also have cleaned this without the rubber gloves, and I have noticed that my... Um, skin would get incredibly dry with that so i would strongly advise to use any type of rubber gloves that you you would feel comfortable in wearing when um before you actually start cleaning with the silver items may it be silverware or like a silver silver teapot you know anything with uh silver i would advise you to do that just because you know, you kind of don't want, don't really want that solution to be absorbed in your skin anyway. So, and you know, if you don't really care and you don't really mind that of the drying and all that stuff, then, you know, it's up to you. But I would strongly advise to do that. Just, you know, but that's just me. I prefer to use gloves and um, I'm just, I'm just making sure every single spot is just um covered now with the polish because um what i and this is what i usually do i cover it i mean i try to rub it and get it in there and all that good stuff but i will be also just um kind of soaking it but you know it's metal so it really doesn't it doesn't absorb anything so maybe soaking is not the exact word i'm looking for um, just pretty much covering it with the with the polish essentially um, and I usually just let it sit there and let it stand there for a few minutes the longer you let it sit there and let it stand there um, I have tested this doing it um, overnight doing it for a few hours several hours and you, you don't really need to do more than a few minutes when you do it like more than I think the cap would be like 20 minutes after 20 minutes whatever happens between 10 to 20 minutes and beyond 20 minutes it's the same effect so you don't really need to let it sit there for overnight um, I did notice though that for me the best way for me to do it is with a rag as well as with an electric toothbrush and by the way that toothbrush head obviously has been old and i just use that to polish my jewelry um what i have noticed is i do need that because if i don't use the electric toothbrush head it doesn't really get into the tight spots 
um like i have the i don't know the larger beads and the teeny tiny like cute little beads um eat it's harder to just clean it with just a rag. I do advise to use like an electric toothbrush or if you're if you don't want to get an electric toothbrush or you don't own one, um you can always use just a regular toothbrush. It, toothbrush. It would just take a, a lot more time, but it will still do the job. So, it's really it really is up to you. And I hope you guys can have a better view on that when I just kind of pulled the plate closer just so you guys can see um, on the top left and the middle left there uh, some of the jewelry has already been coated with the polish and if you can see um, the bottom and I believe the right side of that they're still not coated and so there is if you could see the difference in color for now um, and so I just, this is just what I usually do. I usually just clean most, if I do remember, I do try to clean all of them at the same time. But um, sometimes I don't have all the time. I do enjoy doing this. Um, I enjoy it a lot. That's why I do love um, my Tiffany jewelry and other silver jewelry because of that and my tiffany usually tarnishes the fastest because those are those are the ones i use um frequently versus um other silver jewelry so i'm almost done there i am just i just keep on using um the polish and if you have noticed well actually just to let you know the polish itself it took a while, I would say almost a year to finish a whole um, kit. And that thing is only four and three eighth ounces or one to four grams of solution. It's not really a lot of solution. However, it lasts you forever. Well, it also depends on how much and what your items that you are polishing, the, um, the size, the extent of it um you know the if you want to do a second polish but usually with this if you use a toothbrush or an electric toothbrush and you actually get every single um nook and cranny in there you don't really need a second a cleaning right after the first cleaning you just do one cleaning so what i have learned is i do a one cleaning and now i am just letting it sit there I do a one cleaning, I let it sit there, um, I just wait a few minutes, that's really what you need to do, and um, for for like a regular chain, like a simple chain of what I'm cleaning right now, you don't really need a lot of the solution is what I noticed, you just put a little bit of the polish on a damp um, rag or cloth, and you just let it run through there a few times to kind of ensure that it is going through every single nook and cranny in there. And it is, to me, I just kind of notice that if I do do that, it really just kind of works itself by itself. And so here, if you've noticed, I'm just cleaning up and I'm just letting everything just sit there and just sit there and just do its job because there is really um no need for me to keep on using this using the polish itself um because i've i've done that before and i kept doing it and doing it and doing it and to be quite honest i feel like i did waste the polish because you don't really need to do that one coating is good enough you just let it sit there and let it do its job by just you know not being disturbed and making sure every single spot is covered with the polish and that is just what i have learned and so right now all i'm doing is just cleaning up everything else making sure that um everything that i have stopped using and is not going to be using i have um disregarded and now i have put on the top right is a clean uh, water bowl um, that water is actually our um, reverse reverse osmosis um, and I've also I'm also demonstrating that my gloves I have also cleaned it out 
I did forget to bring the electric toothbrush again, which at the time I was actually cleaning it as well um, while waiting for the um, for for this the polish to actually just penetrate. And if you can see there how shiny the um, the the heart is, the heart pendant after just being soaking in there, and I didn't really. If you've noticed, I didn't do a lot of scrubbing, and so I am just dipping all of that in there to kind of loosen the polish off. Um, you don't really need to do that. You can just go in this um, and in your sink. I would advise though to cover your um, either disposal or the the hole in the sink just because you don't want it to. F Accidents can happen, and I just don't want to risk it. So I usually prefer to just use a bowl. And um, just to do that, just because it kind of worries me sometimes that things, just, I, it, that has happened. It has slipped in my hands, it fell, but I was pretty lucky that it didn't go into the pipe. So I was pretty lucky with that. But I don't want anyone else out there to have an unfortunate event and they lose their jewelry falling in the, um, the pipe in your kitchen sink. So that's not, that's not fun. So here I am just demonstrating how easy it is to just rinse off. Um, I dip them in the water. And again, this is um, reverse osmosis water. We have the we have the cleanest water you can actually have. We that's our drinking water. Reverse osmosis. That's always what I wanted. And as soon as we got our home, our house, I um, I think within that week we we got that installed. So um that's always what i wanted to do that's always what i've i don't know just always what my goal was what my dream was when i have a permanent home and we've actually um picked a home it took us a few years to find our 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 home that would be perfect for our family and um well we you know we we compromised because my husband wanted actually a bigger home and i wanted a smaller home and we we went in the middle <laughs> essentially um so there it is i'm just making sure the in between and the beads are being cleaned and and again the toothbrush i did clean that out before <laughs> doing this uh part of the cleaning so um i just i just um I'm making sure that you know certain parts are actually cleaned out and there are no polish left because sometimes because of the design of the jewelry that I have um, I have even noticed this before and I would just rinse it out and not use a electric toothbrush what would happen is I would wear my bracelet or my necklace or my um, usually not the ring but my necklace or my or my bracelet what would happen, I would notice that there are like blue specks, which is the polish that are left. And I didn't even notice just because it's just, it, you know, when you're rinsing it out, you're kind of expecting and you're kind of, I would, and I, and I always kick myself with that because I am a perfectionist and I am very, as I was like, saying, I am a perfectionist and, you know, little things that are not in order in my head or they're supposed to be in a specific order does bug me. And just so you know, um, the blue rags that I am using, um, those are just, uh, regular, microfiber rags and I will link down below and where you guys can purchase those I do have a coupon code for that and that is from spongeoutlet.com and they are wonderful and I would just like to do a shout out to Will because he was just really great in working with in previous projects that we had um, and I did enjoy that and I can't wait to do another project with them so anyway I do use that because um, I like the feel of it. It's really fluffy and I like putting my jewelry on there. I'm not saying that my other rags aren't fluffy, but they're definitely the fluffiest so far that I have in my in my uh, possession. So now I will be just showcasing and showing you the effect of the Twinkle Silver Polish Kit and um, see, letting you guys see how beautiful and how sparkly and just they just have their 
untarnished, you know, undiscolored look on there. And I just want you guys to see that. Thank you guys for stopping by. I love everyone that watches and supports. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business increase, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.